The back glass of this Galaxy S23 Ultra was badly broken as we can see it. The replacement back cover for this S23 Ultra was purchased online and this is the type of back cover that you will be able to find online if you need a back glass replacement on your device. So after the back glass replacement I did apply the clamps on this device for at least 48 hours and after that I decided to do a water resistance test in order to see if the device is still IP68. As you can see as soon as the device was underwater I started to have some bubbles on the frame of the device which means that water was entering the device. So after less than one minute the device was removed out of water. At this moment I knew that water was already inside the device. The device is still on the screen is lighting up this is a good news but as soon as the device screen will go black this is going to be the time to be worried. I went as fast as possible in order to not break the back glass of this device and as I was saying the top right of the device was where water was entering and inside the back cover it is the top left of the device. You can see we have a small tiny piece of water on that area but I am sure more water has entered the device. From my visual inspection I do not see any other spot on the back cover where I can see water. Only the top left side of the inside of the back cover is where water is. As I said earlier the device might get black and this is what I am getting now. The screen is completely black and the device is not responding. So the first thing that I am going to do is to remove all the screws and after that I can disconnect the battery cable in order to avoid a permanent damage on this device. The battery cable was disconnected first and after that I can go inside the device and look for any other trace of water. And as we were seeing it, on the top right of the device is where water was entering and we have some water on that area also. On that area there is the front speaker that was taking water also. In the front of the device water was entering, we did saw some bubbles on that area. The front speaker is designed to take some water. This is why the front speaker has some rubber around it in order to prevent the water from going beyond that point. In the beginning of the test the front of the device did have some bubbles but after a few seconds the bubble stopped. Water entered the front speaker and stopped on that area. Now is the time to check the motherboard and see if we have some water on the frame of the device where the motherboard sits. Inside the frame of the device we can see one big drop of water on the right. This is exactly where water was entering while the device was submerged. Since there is water on this side of the device, I'm sure that water has touched the motherboard. Also the flex cable that is right on that area has a small hole where water can go in. If water goes in that area between the frame of the device and the screen, it can stay there for days and days. So I didn't bother to check the battery and I jumped onto the motherboard to see where water is on the motherboard. On the back of the motherboard, we have some water on the same area where we saw the water on the inside of the device. This is an area with some graphite tape. I'm not really sure if water has passed the tape and went onto the small micro component. I will come back to the battery later since I didn't see any bubbles on that area of the device while it was underwater. If the front speaker did have some water, the bottom speaker must be full of water. The bottom speaker is larger and it is designed to do the same thing, take some water and hold the water from passing beyond the point it can reach the charging module. Here's the loudspeaker. I removed it and I can already see some water on the inside of the loudspeaker. Taking a look at the bottom of the device where we have the charging module, I can see water everywhere on that area. The charging module is full of water. There is water on the surface and there might be water on the back of the charging module also where we have the SIM card tray and the SIM reading tool. The first thing that I saw after removing the charging module is the red dot. This red dot means that water has passed beyond the point of the SIM card tray. The SIM card tray also is designed to hold the water on that area and this is officially a water damaged device. When I got this device, I did a first water resistance test and the device survived 30 minutes underwater and right after I did a teardown. If you haven't seen that video yet, it is a great complimentary video to all these water resistance and teardown videos. Currently everything has been taken out of the device except the battery. The next step is recovering this device. At this moment I did let all the components dry. I wiped off all the water, reassembled everything inside this S23 Ultra. Is this S23 Ultra going to charge? Is it any good now? On the charge rate indicator at the bottom of the charger I can see 1, 0, 1 and 0. So this device is not taking anything, it is not charging, the screen is not lighting up. 
something is still wrong with this device. So honestly, at this moment, I started to freak out because the device is not working and it might be on the way to a permanent damage. And at this point of the video, do you remember how long the device stayed underwater? Let me know in the comment box if you still remember how many seconds it did underwater. So the next step that I'm going to take is to disassemble the device once again and check for anything, anything that I missed. And the battery of this device. On the back of the battery, there is water, but on the top of the battery, there were no water to be seen. For this one, I do not have any explanation or any logical explanation on how water was under the battery, but not on top of the battery. Since the inside of the device is wet, I'm going to remove the double-sided tape and inspect under the double-sided tape to make sure that it is dry or if it needs to be cleaned. Under the double-sided tape was really dry, it didn't have any water on that area. So the double-sided tape that they put inside the S23 line is going to stop water from going onto the fingerprint reader and beyond that point. While continuing to troubleshoot this device, I noticed that the charger is not working in both directions. It works only in one direction, which is not normal. As this is an USB-C, it should work on both directions. Can this be the source of all the problems that this device is seeing? Can the charging module stop the device from charging? Yes. Can the charging module stop the device from turning on? Yes and no. It is more complicated than that. Since currently we know that the charging by cable is not working normally, I'm going to charge by wireless and see if I can get a different result. The wireless charging circuitry was reattached and as you can see I'm getting 1 and 2. 1 watt to 2 watt charging, this is not normal also and I thought if I let the device charge for a little while by wireless charging it will work but I am still getting 1 to 2 watt of charging. This is a charge reader. It can tell me a lot of information about the charging state of this device and it should tell me what is wrong or which things are wrong. From using this device, I can see that the device is charging at a very, very extremely low amperage and also the resistance of the device is too high. Here also the charging does not work in both ways. When I flip my charging reader, I do not have any readings. I can confirm that the charging module of this device is bad. The circuitry works only in one direction and it needs to be replaced. As with any other device that charge with USB-C, this is the Galaxy Z Fold 4. I can charge this device flipping the charger around right and left and it can work and it should work. Earlier I said the S23 Ultra had too much internal resistance. While charging, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is below 10 ohms. This is one of the reasons why I tell people in comment box I do not recommend you to put your device inside water if it had a repair or something replaced. So currently this Galaxy S23 Ultra is still broken. It does not work. It does not charge. I'm waiting for the charging module to come and replace it and see if I can get a different result. And after I get that, I'm going to do another back glass replacement or reinstallation on this S23 Ultra and this time I'm going to do a B7000 layer on top of the double sided tape to make sure that it seals properly this time. The device is hanging with all my boxes of phone. It does not work. It is the same as a box now. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss the next video about this S23 Ultra.